Hi friends. So at last now we are at the final episode, episode number 20 of our Marrows Management series in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. So overall, I sincerely need to say this. Uh, thanks for all the support extended um, in for this particular series. And I got a lot of feedback from you guys. And uh, I sincerely thank each and everyone who watched this entire episode of series and then uh, also supported me by sharing the content and uh, also liking the content. And also I got a lot of feedback from the users about how this is really helpful for them to understand the basics of virus management uh, uh, functionality in D365. That's the whole objective of this particular episode. Right. So today we are in the final episode. I'm not going to take much of your time. So today the agenda for today's session is like we'll get an overview of the overall process, whatever we have seen, and we will quickly understand the inquiries, reports and periodic tasks, whatever relevant to whatever we have discussed so far from the episode number one to 24 to 19. And also I am also sharing this complete link to you guys so that uh, this will be a kind of uh, a ready deckner for you whenever you want to uh, know about the uh, various management processes uh, to give you the basics of because advanced virus management is like uh, we are still at the tip of the iceberg there are a lot to explore in wms there are a lot of capabilities which d365 offers so i strongly recommend you to consider this particular series as a basics of WMS and from this you need to constantly figure out and learn the functionalities which are available in D365 by making use of these episodes. So I will share the complete episode links to you guys in the description. So please do check out the same and uh, if some of your friends are interested in learning about WMS please do share that deck with them and then uh, finally we sign off. So first of all, talking about the overview, like I, uh, like we start off from the beginning sessions, like the entire virus management uh, functionality help you to complete your outbound or the inbound operations. Like in case of sales orders, we saw how we can group the sales orders, create, uh, re we can release to varos or we can consolidate it under a, a particular wave if there are multiple sales orders. And uh, once the wave is processed, then the appropriate work is getting generated. So the work can be is useful in order to understand what action need to be performed and location directive we saw where, where that particular work need to be performed and we also saw about the packing and containerization process how packing and containerization can be configured in your wave and work templates so all those we saw and then after that how we can proceed for shipment a shipment a load can contain multiple shipments so the only thing is it has to be for the same delivery of the address to the customers and uh, how multiple shipments can be added to the load by using the load template or uh, what are the various possible ways of uh, how we can use the load planning workbench in order to perform the load operation. So entire process of WMS we actually covered um, by using the even we start off with the configurations of your uh, item number, site, varrows, mobile device configurations. We also showed you about uh, how to configure the um, mobile device application and uh, perform the work using the mobile device so so that's what we saw the entire process functional functionality available in d365 for advanced warehouse management process right so so the next point here is today we'll also quickly see and understand what are some of the important inquiries reports and periodic tasks which will be helpful for you guys as you progress in wms series so let me quickly go get into the uh, d365 screen um, so, so this is uh, what I just want to quickly tell you in this episode. Uh, so in inquiries and reports, there are a lot of options which we have. There are a lot of SSRS reports are available which are out of the box functionality. And some of the inquiries like this on and loca by location will be helpful for you to and understand the details of the on and for a specific location. Um, for say, this is the barrows which we have created. So like this, you need to constantly explore the functionalities which are available in case of inquiries and reports. For example, this gives us a detail about the on and of a specific location. For if this is the location we have, uh, the details about the on and uh, you can enable the dimensions whichever we want to see. And the most importantly, what I want to touch upon is you can change the inventory status using this form. Inventory status change is possible. Uh, 
if you click on this then for this particular line you can change the inventory status to blocking so that the transaction is not available for any further processes right so you can change the inventory status using this form and uh, you can also set this dimension as a default value so if i set this default then once again if i come back to this page this value is always kept as uh, as a default value and you can also view the work details from this form because uh, whenever the work is generated if you want to view it based on the each and every location then whatever the dimension the location you have selected based on which if you click on work details you will be able to view the appropriate work details also right so this is the work which is in process for against this particular location so that is a counting process i think this was created because of the counting uh, episode which we have created uh, before to this right uh, i also wish to tell you which i actually missed in the counting session is uh, in case of cycle counting you can also check out the expected quantity and the counted quantity and you can also accept it or reject it uh, so this part i actually missed it in the previous episode number 19 so please do make sure that uh, whenever you perform a counting journal you can use this option of cycle counting in the work form and complete uh, if if you want to accept it or reject the count or you can uh, derive the work also right so that accordingly an accounting adjustment journal will be posted so this is one part which i want to tell you and another one is like there are multiple inquiries like physical on and in inventory physical on and inventory here if you based on the site varos item number you will be able to uh, view the physical on and inventory details and uh, here if i if you see the site is site wms and then uh, 16a iphone wms is the varos which we were using and uh, also the item number which we are using is a iphone wms iphone 001 so if you simply select the di dimension display whatever the dimensions which you wish to see based on which the physical inventory alone you will be able to view it over here um, but for the detailed detailed about detailed information about the on and anyway it is better to view it in the on and list page which is in inventory management but if you want to have want to give access to the users with uh, only the physical inventory then it's better to go ahead with uh, this particular form right so so like this you need to constantly explore the details of the inquiries and reports and uh, these are all the ssr reports which are available in d365 work report load report um, so you can any point in time you can check out these details i'm not getting into each and everything even we had a session about plan cross talking in episode number 18 and uh, what are the cross talking links which are available against the order numbers you can view it over here and uh, so this acts kind of inquiry so where uh, you can view the planned cross talking item along with the sales order number and along with the purchase order number also so this is a kind of quick reference for you to understand the cross talking details so here also you have the option to show only late supply or show failed template validation so late supply is calculated based on expected date and demand shipping date so this is also an inquiry which you can use so I'm just touching upon only those inquiries and reports which are relevant to our uh, sessions, whatever we had so far. And then um, under Varos and monitoring reports, I would say Varos utilization and then uh, labor by user. Also, these are also very important uh, uh, reports. You can make check out these particular points which are which are actually used by the Varos managers. These three labor by work transaction type, labor by user, and then Varos utilization percentage. These three are important reports. And then uh, Varus performance analysis also using the Varus performance uh, uh, report. You can also check out which Varus is performing at what level is it utilized at to its full potential or not. So all these can be uh, analyzed using this Varus performance uh, analysis. And in case of periodic task, uh, I would say in there are certain important periodic tasks which you can use like in case of inventory status change you can like i said using the on and by location you can view only the advanced varos i think uh, the normal varos won't be available here uh, let me remove this let me remove the site also remove the location if i click on the drop down I, yeah, if you can see here, only the normal, only the advanced varoses in which the advanced varos management process are enabled, only those varoses are available over here. So you cannot perform an inventory status change for a normal varos, right? And uh, in those cases, you can use an inventory status change bad job. This will generate a bad job using which you can, um, have, you can give the two inventory status and give if any certain conditions are required, you can give it in the filter and uh, generate a generate a, uh, and then change the inventory status. 
you can also change the reservation hierarchy tracking dimensions so all these are possible using this periodic task um and that's what i want to tell you and uh, also the we were discussing about shipments in our episode 6 7 8 so where if you want to process the outbound shipments uh you can also use this particular bad job you can complete the um shipment processing every time you don't need to process the outbound shipment so that it gets confirmed you can enable the bad job set a recurrence and the the shipment will be confirmed automatically once it is loaded so because only after the material is loaded then only you will be able to confirm the shipment right and then um, most importantly i also want to ch- touch upon and the periodic task you have a functionality called cleanup this will be really helpful when you are working with a large organizations if you are a functional consultant and uh, or even if you are working as a end user you have a large volume of data which is getting generated because of work or wave or because of your uh, cycle count so you will you can clean up those uh, junk data by using all these bad jobs which are available so you can set it as a recurrence you want you can keep it as a number of days in which you want to keep the record and then you can clean up the rest of all the data which is available in the system right so the clean up is one of the important functionalities which is available in d3st way so that it will not affect your uh, uh, your performance of the system whenever uh, you you clean up the junk data available in the in d3st way so make sure that you clean up the unnecessary data available in your system so that your system performs at the most best optimal level right and uh, so this is what i want to tell you guys and uh, we already saw in detail about all these configurations and uh, also other than i think other than replenishment uh, we have actually touched upon all these um, functionalities in varus management uh, um, varus management module and uh, i i will also tell you that in the next thing is i will also share the all the links whatever the episodes we have discussed so far from episode 1 to 20 in terms of introduction key terminologies which are part of uh, varus management and also the configurations which are required to perform all these processes and uh, i also we also discussed about uh, all these important concepts like right? list varus waving location directive work work template load load template packing containerization cross docking basics cycle counting basics so all these we have discussed so i will share the, all these links in the description of this particular video so you can also share this with your friends who are in dynamics community so that they can also be, make uh, they can also get benefited out of this particular episode so this acts as a complete basic package so after, once you, if you have started off with episode 1 and then if you have completed up to episode number 20 you can call yourself as a not as a pro i would say but as a basic professional in varus management series and you will be able to individually handle the questions with your clients and in your implementation projects and uh, anyway at the end of the day it's all about a continuous learning process right but uh, with this you will you are 100% sure once if you have completed the episode from episode number 1 to episode number 20 you are one among the few who know about the basics of of uh, wms uh, functionalities so so if you want to get regular updates please make sure that you follow my profile in youtube or make sure that if you are using linkedin make sure that you follow my profile in linkedin and uh, i strongly recommend you to share these content contents with uh, the your friends in dynamics community also i also request your uh, support in terms of sharing what kind of SM, sm topics which you wish to see in the upcoming series so we will be continuing our uh, this kind of episodes and series in the future also so please do suggest what are the other topics which you wish to see or which you wish to learn in uh, dynamics 365 sm right so i really thorough i really to be honest enjoyed this uh, 20 episode series of wms which we have jointly done a good job i would say thanks for all the support extended and uh, thanks for uh, appreciating the hard work which i have put in so i only my expectation is like share and uh, share this video with your um, friends network in dynamics community and uh, th- share your thoughts in comment section also thank you friends